Yo, what's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it is all about frozen money. Yes, frozen money is back. SP to MP is back. All right, we have frozen money. You can stack up on Deluxos once again right before the new big DLC. All right, so big shout out to the founders, uh, Killer Gaming and Obese Giraffe. Their links will be down in the description. Now, unfortunately, this glitch is only for PS4. I'm sorry, but Xbox dudes, there's a part with recent activities that just there's no way around it without the recent activity. All right. So this glitch is only for PS4, uh, just to clarify. All right. So what you want to go ahead and do is really you just need the amount of money for whatever you want to buy in the bank. So since we want to buy Deluxos, I need at least the amount of money it costs to buy Deluxo in the bank and I can buy as many as I want. Okay. So you really just need that and garages to put them in and stuff and uh, a game save with they recommend all three characters. Um, it can probably be done with less, but I have a save with all three story mode characters ready to go. So what you want to go ahead and do is go online and you want to go ahead and actually just set your spawn location to last location somewhere outside. Okay, just make sure you're outside in the city and you have your spawn location set to last location. Now, once you've done that and you do need a friend at one point for this glitch, okay? You just need a friend at one point just to sit in a job in an invite only session. All right, just so you know. But once you set that up online, you want to go ahead and head back over to story mode. So we're going to spawn in here in story mode in just a second. And this is where you want to go ahead and put in the uh, cops cheat. Okay, so in story mode, you can put in cheats by pressing a bunch of buttons. I will leave the, the exact cheat that I'm using right now to get stars. So you just want to put the cheat in one time and that'll give you one star. Okay, so... At this point, sometimes you'll get two stars depending on if people start shooting around you and you get caught in the middle. But you really, you only want one star because you want to actually get arrested. All right, you want you don't want them to start shooting at you. There, if you get more than one star, there is a cheat code that you can put in to actually lessen that as well. But anyway, so right now, as you can see, the cops are approaching. My hands go up. I press pause. All right, that's what you want to do. Press pause right when your hands go up. Now, go ahead and head over to your recent activities. Now, you want to go ahead and find a recent activity that has the Star GTA Online option. Okay, so Deathmatch, Bounty, Restyle, things like that, all right? So right here, as you can see, I'm going to press Star GTA Online. Nothing's going to happen. Just so you know, I'm pressing Star GTA Online right there. Nothing should happen. Go to the Online tab, go to Choose Character, and select Choose Character, accept the first alert, and now you're on the targeting mode alert, okay? So sit on that targeting mode alert. Now go to your network settings. You want to go ahead and hover over connect to the internet. We're going to disconnect and reconnect and then double tap to go back to the game. Once you've done that, all of a sudden it should all be glitched out. You'll get a bunch of alerts. Let them all pass. Let all these alerts pass until you're back on the targeting mode alert, which is right here. That's the targeting mode alert. So we're back. Okay. You just have to do that real quick. Now. If you've gotten to this point, I know that can be uh, that part's really not that tricky. Here is the tricky part. So double tap the PS button. I'm going to disconnect, reconnect the Internet, then double tap to come back. As you can see, I'm on an Internet connection alert. Now that's going to change. All right. You saw that it changed and there was a PSN alert there for a little while. That is actually the alert you want to accept. So we're back on the uh, the targeting mode alert, right? Or sorry, not targeting mode, recent activity. Sorry, we're back on the recent activity. So as you can see, that's the name of the game. That's what you want to do in this situation. You want to disconnect, reconnect, come back to the game, and then you'll be on the internet connection alert. Right when that PSN alert comes up, you want to wait about a half a second on the PSN alert and accept it, okay? So that's what you want to do. So you're going to see that happen right here. I just wanted to make sure I explained it, okay? So right now, we're going to go ahead and get started with that part. So I'm going to double tap the PS button to get to the connect internet. I'm going to disconnect, reconnect, double tap to come back to the game. I'm on the internet connection alert. Right when that PSN alert comes up, half a second, accept, okay? So here we go, half a second, accept. If you did it correctly, you should be on this alert right here. The Rockstar Game Services are unavailable. Chill out here for a few seconds, and then you can go ahead and accept this. Okay, so if you didn't get that alert, you just need to start back over. Okay, that's it. Just start over from the beginning. Now, if you've done everything correctly up to this point, you should be stuck on an infinite black screen. Once you're on this infinite black screen, we need a suspend app. Once again, another part that Xbox can't do, all right, suspending. So go ahead and open up Spotify or YouTube or trim a clip or something, and you want to go ahead and just fully suspend GTA 5. So I'm going to go ahead and open up 
uh, Spotify right here. It's going to say I need to suspend GTA. I'm going to just select yes and OK. Now go ahead and do that again. So go back to the game. You're going to get a black screen. Come back, open up Spotify again. So do that twice. Now we're back on the on the game and we're on that black screen. You still want to be on that black screen. Now you need your friend to just go into an invite only session and launch up a Titan of a job. Just go into the setting screen of a Titan of a job, just the job lobby. OK, once they're there and you've got and you know, you can join them. Go ahead and join them. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to join my friend that's in that job in an invite only session. I'm going to accept this first alert. I should get a private alert. I'm going to accept that. And there we go. Now joining DT online. And that's pretty much the entire uh, SP to MP part of the glitch. Now is where we spawn down as our story mode character and we should get the split. But that can be very tricky, guys. I understand that. Just make sure to keep watching, you know, rewatch the video if you have to. But I explained it as well as I really could right there. But as you can see, we got the split. I just spawned in online as Michael. Well, first my girl character and then split into Michael. So at this point, what you want to do is go ahead and find a peyote. Now, there's a few peyotes to go to. Uh, I always recommend going to this one because certain peyotes will actually blue screen you and it, it can happen don't get me wrong on this one but I trust this peyote more than most this is over at the southern Los Santos customs location you know right here on the map and uh, yeah there's a peyote right here so you want to just go ahead and hit right d-pad on the peyote hit online and find new session okay you want to do that fairly quickly I'd say so right d-pad pause online find new session do that fairly quickly okay so now, what you want to go ahead and do is once we're finding new session, I fast forwarded this. It actually took a little while for some reason, maybe Internet. I'm not sure, but it took a little while. Anyways, if you spawn into the session like this, all glitched out. No problem. All right. That happens to most people. You just need to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. All right. If you don't, then you're good. OK, you can just continue like normal. But for those of, for those of us that spawn in this weird little state, Go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. It's going to ask me to host right here, I believe. I need to change my matchmaking to close. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and host this. And once we get into the job lobby, we're just going to simply back out. Okay, that's it. All right, and that's going to get us off that glitch screen that we got when we spawned into this session. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of that menu or back out of the Titan of a job. And there we go. I'm spawned down. Now is when you can go ahead and actually check out your money. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually go to buy some ammo. But as you can see, I, for some reason, filled up all my ammo a few days ago and haven't used any of it. But trust me, if you try to buy ammo at that point, you will have frozen money. OK, now I know I have frozen money. I know I hit the glitch perfectly fine. So I'm just going to go and head over to my CEO office. All right. You need to have a CEO office to do this as well. OK, I'm sorry I didn't say that in the beginning. But yeah, you need a CEO office because you need to access the computers here at the CEO office because you can't access your phone at this at this moment. You can't access guns, nothing like that. You're really glitched out. So once you head over to your CEO office, go over to the laptops right here. Just hit right D-pad and you'll start sitting down. Then you can go ahead and access the computer by hitting X. OK, so now we've hit X and we're loaded in. This is where you simply want to go ahead and buy. And I'm going to prove to you right here that I have frozen money since I couldn't do it with the inventory ammo part. I'll just do it right here. And the uh, deluxes are on sale right now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, buy one over here just to prove to you guys that I do have frozen money. OK, I, I actually end up switching apartments later, but here is just proof that the frozen money is working. As you can see, purchase, nothing comes out at the bottom or at the top right. We're good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this whole apartment right here. Del Perro. I'm just going to fill it up with deluxos completely. All right. So this is what you want to do pretty much. You want to fill up on Deluxos. They sell for the most money. OK, so make sure you have enough money to buy Deluxo and that before you do the glitch, then you'll be able to afford it. But as you can see, nothing came down to my bank account and I've just ordered a full garage of Deluxos. You'd basically want to order up for all your garages or all the empty spaces. All right. That you can. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and exit out of the Internet and you want to wait for everything to get delivered. You won't see the notifications, but you can hear them. So just listen to your controller and you can hear uh, the little noises, the little notification noises when they get delivered. So once everything has been delivered, all the vehicles you ordered have been delivered. You want to go ahead and head over to the elevator and hit exit to ground. OK, so. Remember, everything needs to be delivered. All right. It's possible that it works without that, but I recommend just waiting until all the notifications have gone. So once we're back outside, open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. OK, you're going to get the slow motion wasted, a little bit of story, a little bit of online on there. And uh, yeah, once we spawn back now, you actually should be good to go. So you see that I can actually pull out my guns now. I can uh, I should be able to pull my phone, but I'm just going to show you right here. 
I'm going to go ahead and buy ammo and I'm going to prove to you that I do lose money. So as soon as I get rid of this double menu right here, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and buy ammo and you should see money come down from the top right. So there we go. You see, I lost 113 bucks. Money is completely unfrozen, but the deluxes are not saved yet. Okay. You want to go ahead and fly or ride or drive whatever you want to every single garage you order deluxos at. Okay. So you need to go to every single one of these garages and do this. If you don't do this, everything you just did was for nothing, okay? They won't save. So make sure you do this at this point. Okay, so I'm going to go into my only garage that I bought Deluxes in just for the video purposes. But like I said, this is what you would be doing to every single garage. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the blue circle, hit right D-pad, select the first car. I'm going to pick it up, move it to the second slot. And then I'm going to pick that one up, move it to the th third slot and so on and so forth. Okay, so just move that first car into every single slot. All right, as you can see right there, boom, right back to the beginning. So... That's what you want to do. Just move the first car and set every single slot just to make sure that you actually went through every slot. And you want to do that in every garage that you purchase Deluxos in. Okay, so make sure you do that in every single one of those garages. Once you have fully done that, you know, you're, you're sure you swapped all the vehicles around, you want to go ahead and force a game save. So go to style and select another outfit. Put on that same outfit, doesn't matter. Change your accessories, whatever forces uh, save for you. As you can see in the bottom right, I will get an orange save icon right now. So there it is, orange save icon. Once you've gotten this, you can actually close your app, okay? So go ahead and just simply completely close GTA 5, load it back up. Right when you hear the, the crashing right here of the glass and all the sirens, go ahead and hold R1, all right? Just hold R1. Now you want to hold R1 until you get to the loading screens right here. So you see all these loading symbols at the bottom right. You can let go of R1 now and you should get this display calibration, accept it and load into GTA 5 story mode. OK, so now we've loaded in as Michael in story mode. I'm going to press pause, go to online and go into an invite only session. Now, since we've already reset catch, which is what we did right there when the game started, we're going to get that policies alert. Just hit the check mark and go ahead and confirm it. And it's going to begin to load us into online. OK, so now I'm just waiting to get, actually get into online. But uh, once we get into there, that's when you want to go ahead and actually check for your vehicles. OK, we've done the entire glitch. Once you've restarted your app, you are good to go. The vehicle should be saved. Just make sure you remember to reset cash. If you don't reset your cash, then I'm pretty sure you won't be able to actually log into online. It'll say it can't find the files or you'll get some weird alerts. Anyways, I've loaded back into online and I'm going to go ahead and go to that same garage. Remember Del Perro where I ordered all the Deluxos at and they all should still be there. All right. Since I did the save method and everything worked out perfectly fine. So as you can see, there we go. All the Deluxos are still there. These are fully sellable. You can, these are not dupes. These are bought originals. Okay. That's why we can, you don't dupe Deluxos usually. All right. That's why you use, you buy them and we sell them for massive amounts of money. I think each of these sell for 2.8 million. So this garage alone is worth a lot of money. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.